Megan, thank you so much. Mike Hill, that is one of the names you have heard, one of the innocent victims that lost his life yesterday. He was a beloved member of this church and school community here at Covenant. Earlier today, our reporter, Ali Lynch, she had an opportunity to speak with a man who built a very close relationship and a very close friendship with Hill over the past 15 years. Well, it takes your breath away. It took my breath away. It was a phone call that changed everything. I don't know. I was just rattled. I was just, uh, your heart, your heart gets, it feels real heavy. And uh, uh, you realize you don't get a chance to talk to him again until you see him in eternity. Jim Bachman now faces that reality. His beloved friend and custodian, Mike Hill. Salt to the earth kind of fellow. One of the six victims in the Covenant school shooting. He didn't deserve this, I'll tell you, because, um, he was a sweet man. He's called Big Mike, big, strong, strapping fella. With a big heart to match. And he, he would know the kids by name. It was a deep bond the 61-year-old and Bachman shared over the last 15 years. She's the one if we needed some heavy lifting done. I'm too old to do it, so we called Big Mike to come out here and help us. And he always would. Because I gave him my car. I'll show you how much I love him. I just gave him my car. Not only was Bachman close with Hill, he says he unfortunately knows a second victim. I, I know uh, Chad Scruggs, a good man. And, um, he lost his precious little nine-year-old daughter. Bachman, a former pastor at Covenant Presbyterian Church, remembers shooter Audrey Hale attending the school. Uh, my wife substitute was a substitute teacher at the school back in 2004 when Audrey was in the second grade. All too familiar with the church, school, and community. He says this hits too close to home. It's changed a good bit since my time there, but uh, it could have been my son. He was in school there, uh, second, third grade. And I know, I know that hallway and I know that office suite. Nobody wins in these things, everybody loses. Allie Lynch, News 2.